we haven't had a full scale San Diego County Fair since 2019, this year's fair might be scaled back for a different reason. A judge has blocked fair organizers from using the company it hired to provide the fair's rides and games, ruling that the selection process was essentially rigged. CBS 8's Richard Allen explains the decision and shares how San Diegans are feeling about a fair that may be lacking those main attractions. Well, that's right. This court injunction comes just a couple months before the San Diego County Fair is set to open after last year's scaled back event and a complete cancellation in 2020. Yeah, I think we've been there one time. He did be his first time here at the fair, so we hope, we hope to be able to make it. For four-year-old Liam, his first time at the San Diego County Fair may be one without rides or games. I don't know. It definitely would be a bummer. Uh, we, hope, we hope to have the rides and, and be able to go and, and have a good time. Less exciting, less things to do. A bummer even for these kids at heart. I feel like it wouldn't be as fun and family friendly, I guess. That's what I think of when I think of the fair rides and games and bringing your family, bringing your kids and having like a really fun day out. This week, a judge ruled that the process to select the company to run the fairs midway, responsible for providing those beloved rides and games, was rigged, issuing an injunction blocking the contract with RCS meaning fair organizers now have little time to find a new company to provide those central attractions. A competing company, Tally Amusements, had charged the fair district essentially tailor-made the contract qualifications to favor RCS. In his ruling, the judge wrote there's at least the appearance of favoritism, which is contrary to public policy, adding the evidence supports an inference of favoritism, fraud, and corruption, but also adds that no such definitive findings are made herein. For its part, fair organizers say they've received the injunction and are working to determine what this will mean for the upcoming fair. Quote, we're very concerned by some of the contentions upon which the court's ruling is apparently based, which have not been proven. With fewer than 10 weeks before the start of the fair, the 22nd DAA is committed to doing everything it can to save this beloved summer ritual that's enjoyed by one and a half million San Diegans and Californians. If they didn't have a Ferris wheel, I probably wouldn't be as excited to go. And you gotta have the Ferris wheel. Now, fair officials also say they are now considering all options and hope to have a decision as to how to proceed in the coming days.